In this video, I'm going to be showing you part two of our West Coast Offensive ebook here on the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at one of my favorite passing concepts, can beat every coverage in the game. And we're also going to show you in this video why, one of the many reasons, at least in my opinion, that I believe that the uh, th this uh, formation is really, really incredible against pretty much anything that the defense does. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day, just trying to help people become better Madden players. So if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, we got a lot of content over at my Patreon. That's where you can get all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. If you want to check out the Patreon, the link is down in the description. But we're talking about the West Coast offensive playbook and specifically the far tight slot formation. This has been one of my favorite formations year in and year out. We're going to talk about one of my favorite passing concepts this year, which is to play flats. There's a lot of different ways that you can run this play. The beauty of the far tight slot is there's so many different concepts and there's so many different ways that you can run this offense. Quick passing is essential because you are under center. And this flats play is really good. And I just want to first show you this crosser. You're going to see that this crosser is going to go about 25 yards down the field. Just stock if you have a slot apprentice. Um, let me show you something else that you could do with this. You can put a slot apprentice crosser. You will see it'll go a little bit deeper. And I'll just show you about the depth at which that gets against a cover four, about 30 yards down the field. Now, there's a lot of different ways in which we can build around this concept, but my favorite thing to do with this, one of the last thing I do want to show you, is you can also motion this crosser out to the numbers in this situation right here. The reason this is significant is because, let's say, for example, that our opponent is running a 30-yard cloud. You're just going to notice that if I put the slot apprentice um, on a crosser and then I motion him outside, maybe do something like this, just something simple, you know, kind of roll out or whatever. But what you'll notice with this is that this crosser um, a lot of times can get over the top of a 30-yard cloud. There, I threw it a little bit early, but it can get over the top of the 30-yard cloud. Now, as far as how we're going to set this concept up, what I like to do um, is really simple. Uh, with what we're going to talk about today and like i said it will beat every coverage in the game you don't need any hot route abilities or whatever to do it um, just real simple we're going to put mike evans on a curl we're then going to take our running back uh leonard fournette and we're going to put him on an out and then i like to block the fullback um on this play actually um, we're going to motion this fullback to the right. I love motion in this scheme because what this is going to allow us to do is we're going to uh, be able to streak the fullback out of the backfield, and then we're just going to double team or slide our line to the right, and we're going to be able to throw this rollout crosser. So you see here I can roll out real simple, get out to the sideline, and throw this ball. Now what they're going to have to basically do is this is going to force them into a double Mabel defense. And I'll show you what this looks like here. So a lot of uh, the way that you're going to see this is this is also a crosser to the weak side, which is really significant because this is going to allow us to kind of force a certain type of coverage. That's going to open up some other stuff down the road. But real simple, we're just going to uh, streak the fullback here. So it looks like this pre-snap. And then we're going to slide our line to the right and block our tight end whenever we motion the fullback over on the fade. And what you'll see here is this three-man rush. Um, I don't know how I got screamed at right there, but you saw the curl uh, was standing wide open. And I'll show you that again here. So whenever you're facing a double Mabel, and really that's the whole point of the first couple plays that we're showing you here, is we're trying to get them in a position where they basically have to play double Mabel. Um, and then we're going to basically exploit it. Uh, with some other stuff but i like to have some extra protection uh from this play by blocking this tight end this enables me to roll out to the right and then you'll notice here that my curl because they're playing double flats that will be wide open this is going to force them to have an underneath zone over on the left side which is going to then open up a lot of opportunity so again I'm just going to show you this against the five man uh kind of pressure defense that you might see and the five-man pressure defense is pretty good, but this is really good against it. You can see here, I can just roll out to the right. And then I have my crosser right there, as you can see. And then lastly, I do want to show this against man-to-man. -man. Now, if you do know that it's man-to-man, -man, uh, one of the things that you can do that is kind of helpful, um, if you, like I said, if you do know that it is man-to-man, -man, leave the post route to uh, Mike Evans, or what you can also do is just put him on a smart routed in. And what you'll see is everything else is going to basically be the same. It's just, I like to run against man and sit against zone. My running back is my favorite route against man. That quick out is so good against man to man. It's also really good against, um, it's actually really good against a blitz too. 
because of where the running back is at on the field. Um, what you'll see here is if I just throw this little quick flat route, if they're not playing legitimate hard flats on the outside, a lot of times you can throw that running back against that coverage. Now, another thing that you can do that's actually really interesting, specifically against zone, and I'm talking more so on the double Mabel here, but what you'll see with this, the, with this route combo is I can actually wheel my running back, and I'll show you what this will do for the play. And again, we're going to do the same thing, just motion the fullback. This just gives us a nice ability to be able to always have good protection. Um, and then from here, I could even audible into the single back wing slot and run some stretches or whatever. But what you'll see here is I could throw this wheel out here against that double Mabel meta as well because of the fact that the wheel route, because of the placement of the wheel route, basically. Uh, but back to man-to-man -man for just a quick second. So let's say that it is man-to-man. -man. Your running back route will get open. And then if you do want to do something like this, what you can do against man coverage is to take Mike Evans and put him on a smart route of dig. And this is just going to give you a secondary read. Now, they are both kind of going in the same area. but And I don't run this play a lot against man. This is not my go-to man beater by any means. But this play will still be fine. I'll show you something else that you can do just for fun while I'm talking about it against man. And if you, this is if you know. like You have to know that this is man-to-man -to, -man, uh, to do what I'm about to show you. But if you know that it is man-to-man, -man, what I like to do with this play um, is I can go ahead and take my running back and put him on that out route. And then with this fullback here, um, I'm going to put him on an option route, and then I'm going to motion him, or I'm sorry, not an option route. Um, when I motion him out here, you see that he is still a running back, um, for the like, especially for like hot route or tight end, whatever. So you see here what I can do with this guy is, you know, simple things. I could basically take him and put him on these block. This block and release drag is really good. Um, another route that I like to run though, is just a simple smart routed into the tight end. So you see, this is kind of what we create and why I like this play so much against man, my, every route beats it. My running back's going to beat it. I'm going to be able to get out of the pocket, throw my crosser. Um, and then the skinny post is going to be really good as well. Now this skinny post is really good for a lot of reasons. This skinny post does such a incredible, incredible job because what you'll notice here is if you take a look at this you'll see that this the skinny post you see that right there see how people are moving out of position whenever i mode it whenever i motion this guy so what you'll see is this skinny post becomes in the crosser even too but the skinny post gets isolated one-on-one -on -one over the middle of the field so you have a couple different options i've got a ton of stuff uh in this ebook for you guys about man so i'm not going to spend too much time with it but one really, like I said, one really simple play call would basically be something like this. And then we're going to wheel the running back, motion him out. And a lot of times what you'll see is that wheel will stay. So you get something like this going on. This is a great bomb. and We'll go back over it later. But notice how this skinny post gets isolated in the position where it can actually really cook man to man. So there's so much left to talk about about this formation. It's one of my favorite formations that I've been in all year. It's really fun to run. Uh, you just have to understand that, you know, when you're running a concept like this, you need to understand your progressions and what you're really forcing them to do or forcing them to double flat the right side. Now, let's say that you're watching this video and you're like, well, you're not really forcing them you know, to, to um, hit that side. Let me show you something else that we can do. Um, you'll see that I can motion the running back out to the outside here. And then I could put him on the fade. And now what I can do is I could take this into kind of an interesting little concept with this. This is another way to run this play. Or you could also do something like this. So these are some just different mechanics. You're still getting basically the same concept. You're just getting to it a little bit differently. So it's one of my favorite ways to kind of mix up my play calls. But thanks for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy the rest of it. If you like these kind of breakdowns, consider joining our Patreon. That's where you can get my most advanced stuff as well as all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. The link to join that is down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.